if you're trying to forgive somebody, but you still have all this anger or hurt, but you thought you had forgiven them, but then you see them and you feel all this stuff, or then you can't quite move past it. You can't get over it. But, but I thought I forgave them and I tried to forgive them. And, you know, the Bible says I should forgive them. And all the psychologists say I should forgive them if I'm going to get well, but I still feel this. Have I not forgiven them? Is my forgiveness incomplete? Is it shallow? Did I do it wrong? Did I not hit the right button? How does that work? Well, it's a good question. It is a good, good, good question. And sometimes having emotions after we have forgiven somebody, um, it can be a signal that there's a little more forgiveness work to be done, depending on the kinds of emotions they are. And sometimes, sometimes the emotions can actually be a sign that you have forgiven them if they're a different kind of emotion sometimes. So what does that mean? Well, let's start with, uh, let me just start with an analogy, okay? Let's say that you and I are out there and somehow, I don't know how this would happen, but somehow we just get in a big argument and then we get in a really big argument and it turns into a bigger argument and you do something you've never done before. You just punch me out, right? Right there, right in the kisser. Isn't that what they called it in the old movies? They smacked him right in the kisser. Okay, so you, I, you knock me down and I'm out of it and I got a big old shiner like you used to get in elementary school when, you know, when, when the bully would challenge you and you had to stand up to him or whatever that was back in the old days. Um, elementary school was tough where I went. <laughs> Why did that memory come up? Anyway, let's just pretend somebody does something to somebody. Okay, let's say, let's say, uh, you know, even you get mugged, but I'm looking for something physical here. Right, I know there's emotional stuff, but let me give you something physical to make the analogy. So let's say somebody gets mugged and they actually get stabbed, all right? So then they are recovering and you got PTSD and you got all this trauma and everything and you're recovering. And then somewhere along the line, you find out that all the mental health people tell you, well, you're gonna have to forgive that person. And at first it sounds, I mean, it's like, how's that possible right but then you do your spiritual work and um you realize that there are really 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 good reasons for you as well as for that person i mean they get forgiven right and they can start their life hopefully if they repent and have a wake-up call but for you what it does is when you forgive somebody literally what the word means is it's it's a it's actually a financial term. It comes out of the, you know, the, the thinking of to cancel a debt. Like if a loan is forgiven, like you've read all the articles about forgiving school loans. Okay. If, if a loan is forgiven, then that means the debt is wiped out and that person doesn't owe me anything anymore. And I'm fine with them. We can go forward. Okay. We're back to square one. So what happens is when somebody forgives somebody, what you've done is, you're saying inside, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to release you from that debt, which means I'm not going to hold it against you, A, and B, I'm going to fully accept you, doesn't mean I'm going to trust you, but C, I'm not going to have any revenge motives, I'm not going to get back at you, okay, like the, the law in the Old Testament, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, you do that to me, I'm going to hurt you, okay? That's revenge. And that's also justice, by the way. So it's a natural feeling. So when you forgive, you let somebody off the hook. All right, well, if I get mugged and I go do my deep spiritual work and I forgive the muggers, but guess what? I'm still recovering from the wound, aren't I? Because it hasn't healed. So I find out even if I forgive them, every time I move this way, it hurts. Or I still have to go, you know, drunk driver hits me, for example. I forgive him, but I, I've still got to go to rehab. I actually had that happen. I had 
and probably probably the back problems I'm going through right now are related to I got rear ended by a drunk driver. I was sitting at a stoplight and he hit me going about 50, 60 miles an hour. And I flew through three, no, sorry to say three intersections, three different streets. I don't know how many lanes is it right out near LAX in between LAX and the, the 405 freeway. And um, anyway, I've forgiven the guy, but I still, I'm probably what I'm going through right now probably has something to do with it. That's what the doctors say. Well, it's like that in relationships too, in people. Sometimes people do something to us and we have to forgive because it lets, it sets you free. See, when you forgive somebody, you're not carrying them around anymore. You've let it go. And people that hold on to stuff sometimes for decades, they can't let it go. They're stuck. I had a friend who, uh, whose parents got divorced. Um, I remember we, we were probably in the 10th, 10th grade, maybe, and lost touch with them, you know, for a long time and ran into them. And I knew their parents well and ran into them probably 10 years ago and asked about their parents. And her dad had moved on and was doing fine, but they said their mother at 70 years old was just still stuck. All she could talk about was how he did her wrong. This probably happened when she was, what, 40, maybe? She couldn't let it go. She couldn't forgive him. So to forgive means to let it go. But that doesn't mean that you're not going to continue to have to process hurt and pain. So when I say it depends on the kind of emotions, if you have vengeful emotions, you want to hurt somebody and you're planning on it and, you, you know, given the chance you would, that means I'm still stuck. But if I've really released them, then I go into the pain and grief emotions and that's anger and sadness and, you know, woundedness and all that kind of stuff. But the good things about those emotions, they are healable. See, that's why forgiveness opens the door. Because once you let go of something, then you're in a process of grief and you're in the process of healing. If you're holding on to something, you're in the process of negative toxicity seeking revenge. So the answer to the question, you can forgive and still have anger and stuff to work through. And that's okay. That doesn't mean that you haven't forgiven. But we always have to check our, our spirits.